Well, a special mother-daughter bond in our health watch on the day after Mother's Day and the race for the cure. The fight against breast cancer is especially important for this family. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl has their story and a new light therapy treatment being tested at Penn Medicine. Terry Guthrie and her daughter, Sina Hill, try not to dwell on their bad luck. It started with breast cancer. They were both diagnosed in 2010. He was like, Aww. your hair, mom. What about your hair? Sina, who has two sons, had to have surgery, radiation, and chemo. My kids were like 10 and 11, and I was scared I was going to die. So that was hard, and uh, I just kept thinking it should be me. It shouldn't be her. Even though Terry had a recurrence and Sina had a more serious okay. bout, it wasn't the genetic kind of breast cancer. Then last Last year, fate struck again. They both had brain surgeries. It's a little overwhelming, and you just yeah. feel like, how, like, why in, in our family does this have to happen? Like, why do we have to get so much dumped on you? Sina, who's 46, had a benign brain malformation called Chiari that was repaired surgically. You were driving me to the appointment, and you were. You I know, and I was all over the road. Terry thought she needed new glasses, but it turned out she had glioblastoma, brain cancer. Hi, Hello. how are you feeling? Penn neurosurgeon John Lee operated using an experimental fluorescent dye. And we can see the tumor just literally glowing in front of our eyes. The illumination allows surgeons to more precisely remove the cancer while sparing healthy tissue. That's been a wonderful technology to find the tumor and then to look for margins and try to improve our outcomes. I was delighted to have it because I think he got most of the tumor out. Terry, who's 69, is getting radiation and chemotherapy, and even though she's facing bad odds, remains optimistic. I've had a really good life. That's, how, that's I think, the first thing I said to you was, I'm really okay with it. Now, the fluorescent technology Terry received was originally developed by surgeons at Penn to treat lung cancer. Early results for brain surgery are positive so far. And best oh, of luck good. to oh, Terry sure. and her daughter. What a story. Yeah. No but they're remaining optimistic throughout this. Mm -hmm. for you got to sure. do that. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Seth. Thanks.